Hello everyone. I said I'd be back to share some ideas as to how to use the backgrounds um, that I created on Sunday for the Facebook group. The um, prompt this month, of course, is repeat after me and Sunday's challenge was to create an abstract piece of art. This is the page that I created, which I did on a sheet of A3 mixed media paper. A3 measuring 11.7 inches by 16 and a half inches. It's the size of two letter sized pieces of paper put together so a nice substantial piece for me to use for future projects and of course it'll come as no surprise that um, I raced straight off to my local printers on Monday morning to get this piece copied. Um, the printers I use specialises in business stationery and wedding stationery and that kind of thing um, and you know it's just a great idea to get your work photocopied either do it on your home printer or you know have it professionally done. I've only got um, a, a, an inkjet printer um, at home whereas these are laser copies and it just gives you know a much nicer finish and it's very inexpensive here to get this done. My printers charge £2 per side of A3 paper or a pound um, if it's just um, a letter size piece A4 um, that you're having printed so very very inexpensive to have it done. So let me just show you that is the original this this piece here and that is the copy and you can see that it's just absolutely great quality this one here is just printed on the one side this one here is double sided so I've had both side, uh, size, uh, sides done and the reason I've done that is that this is just perfect for making journals um, and notebooks and that kind of thing because of course you haven't got to worry about decorating the back so that was four pounds to have both sides copied I've also had it printed on just regular thin copy paper as well because you know that's really useful if I want to use this for collage um, and this piece here you can see is printed on a piece of mixed media paper so I've just taken a piece of mixed media paper out of my A3 pad um, I've prized the uh, spirals apart as opposed to tearing it because um, that way they're happy to put it through their printer and of course you know it won't cause it to jam so that's what I've had done so let me just put these to one side because I'll show you how I have used them let me just pop those over there first of all I have made one of my concertina file folders and I'll leave the link to a previous video that I created which I know a lot of you have, have seen sharing how to make one of these they're very easy um, and the video gives very clear step-by-step -step instructions as to how to make one of these um, but it's just made with regular um, envelopes here we go um, that I've decorated with some washi tape I've strengthened the sides using some clear sellotape as well so it's got clear sellotape which you probably won't be able to see on the sides just to you know give it a bit of strength you don't have to do that um, and then I've used some polka dot washi tape just to decorate the edge just to you know make it look more glamorous I just absolutely love that so that is one idea I've um, chosen a decorative brad as well which I thought went perfectly and so you know that's great can you imagine having you know a set of these on your shelves just full of little die cuts and you know bits and bits and bobs or again it's just a great piece to send out in happy mail so that's one idea um, here's another one that I did with another one of the backgrounds that I created um, this is another background page that um, I shared um, recently as well so you know that's uh, another one um, I've used uh, thin duct tape to decorate the edges of, of this one here but I just think these are you know absolutely super um, now let me show you how much of the sheet of paper I used to create create this um, there we go I just put the envelope um, across the page cut it sort of down um, to size and I've used the whole of one piece of paper um, of course that's that's doubled over but um, that's that's how much I used and then with the piece that I had left over on the right hand side um, let me show you what I did with the with the leftover so let's put that um, away I made some greetings cards so I just these are pre um, folded uh, cards that I get from I think 
think these were from the craft fair that I go to at the um, Motorcycle Museum. Very, very inexpensive. And of course, these come with envelopes. I think they measure four by four inches. So I've just cut my pieces of paper down to three and three quarter inch squares. And I've made six greetings cards with the leftover pieces. And again, you know, these are just lovely to send out to your friends or even send out as a gift, you know, give, give six away and um, put them in a little decorative box and that, that you can decorate with more of your, your patterned paper and that you know is just a super super gift to give a give away so that's another idea um, then I used a sheet of the mixed media paper that I have printed and I've still got this is the leftover so of course I didn't use it all but I made a tag um, and I used one of the Tim Holtz um, chit chat words that come on chipboard pieces so that you know that's quite substantial and thick and of course the quote on this one here was objet trouvé which I just thought was perfect for this found objects because of course that was what I was using to create the background I was using pieces of packaging and you know all kinds of things to create this bottle lids to create the circle so I just thought that objet trouvé <laughs> was just absolutely perfect and you know the trims here are just from packaging as well so all leftovers so a tag I've made two artist trading cards remember to play and attitude is everything and you can see on these I've inked around the edges as well but you know I just think those are just absolutely fabulous um, and then I've got two postcards as well never doubt your instinct creativity takes courage which is just from the Tim Holtz um, small talk or chit chat words whatever they are and the impossible is often the untried so I hope that's given you some ideas as to how you can use pieces of artwork background pages like this just so many ideas and I just think you know that these cut up into smaller pieces are just absolutely gorgeous they're beautiful and don't forget as well you know for instance this one here which is slightly um, more plain than some of the others I could have carried on working on this this is on mixed media paper so you know perfect to carry on applying more paint to if you wanted to so there we have it just a few ideas and don't forget as well that you can frame your artwork I will be um, framing this piece here I need to um, find a frame that is big enough to take as much of this um, as is, is possible I just think these are just absolutely fabulous and you know I've said before that I have started to frame um, pieces like this because I just think they look absolutely fabulous so I hope that's given you some ideas as to how you can use your abstract pieces that you've all been creating this week and I look forward to seeing so you know some of your ideas of what you do with yours shared in the Facebook group um, as always if you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas I would really appreciate a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now